My mm -hmm. name is Ruth Carissa and I've been working with Local Ocean Conservation for the last eight years. This is my ninth year. And my role in the Marine Scout program is to help them learn about their environment. The objective of the Marine Scout program is to make the children within our community understand what is around them. Most of them stay in this community, they're just closer to the beach, they're closer to the ocean, but they don't know what is really involved in that ocean. All they know is going to the beach, have a swim, see a museum, say ciao, jambo, caramella, all this stuff, but is that really important? So we need to bring them in, make them understand that there's more than just that in their own community. They have to learn something which is very, very precious for the next generation. Our Marine Scout program involves a group of eight students and they are between the age of eight and 12 from our closest school, which is Jongokundu. The school is about 200 meters from where we are and we thought we'd give them that opportunity because we're closer to them. And how we get to them is we first go to the school, talk to the teachers and let them help us how to select them. We have what we call the WCK clubs, which is one of the clubs of Kenya. And that's the best target group to reach because they're more enthusiastic about nature. So the teacher would then select the best students for us, those who are showing interest about turtles, and that's how we get them. So when they come to local ocean, we teach them different things, especially about conservation and nature. And part of that is turtle knowledge, mangrove restorations, marine life, marine pollution, endangered species in general. So we give all that information to them. Our wish is to see them become better people. They have gone through the Marine Scout program. They've learned quite a lot. Having gone to higher levels, our hope is to see that they graduate, they become better people. Who knows, we could either get a marine biologist out of that, we could get a aquatic science person from that lot, and they would come and make that change so that they get a better future. So through the Marine Scouts, we've had parents' workshops, and we've had very positive reviews from the parents, but through the children, after educating them, they go and make that change in their own community. Like parents who've been fishermen, fishing turtles, can see that the children are very serious about the whole situation. So they decide like, no, this is not us. We have to learn and we need to make that change. Something that I will never forget is my first hatchlings. I'd never seen them before. And a call came in, there's a nest hatching. It was very early at around 4.30 and we're like, wow, this should be it. So we all ran to the beach and what I saw was this little head that came out of that nest. Just one little head and it was there. And she just looked at us innocently with a flipper coming out. And then we stayed for almost half an hour and she didn't want to come out. And then suddenly she thought, this is it. I think it's safe enough for me to go. And there she started it and the rest all started coming up. This was really, really cool for me. It was one of those memories that would love people to see and that I'll never forget. Turtles have been around for over 200 million years and my hope is to see them live another 200 plus million years.